Let me demonstrate the power of Easy Animator Pro, a revolutionary After Effects script that will help you speed up your animation workflow. This time saver tool will help you achieve professional animation result with simple clicks, so you can focus on the design process. Here I have a scene that I created in After Effects, a fairly simple composition with one logo, a main text layer, a shape layer, and a paragraph. Let's dive in and begin animating in real time. I will select the logo layer and apply the motion snapper preset with a simple left click on the M button in my script interface. This will add an effect control on my layer with all the properties ready to animate. I will expand the animation values and reveal all the properties I can adjust. By default they are all set to do nothing, so your design stays intact. Now with my timeline indicator near the end point of the layer, I will adjust the animation in values. This way we can have a visual representation of the changes we make in real time. Let's add some start values. Okay, everything looks great, but we can push it a step further by opening the global controls. On snapper animators we have some extra options, such as speed, dynamics and delay. Let's set the easing of the animation to snapper fast. Also in this case I will use the delay parameters and add some time difference between the animated values. I think the animation in for the logo is fine. Now let's move the timeline indicator near the out point of the layer and adjust the animation out properties. Looks great. All we have to do now is to adjust the duration. I will simply drag the in and out points of the layer to fit my needs, and my animation will dynamically adjust to the duration. Let's move to the next layer, the text layer. As I did before, I will select the text layer and in this case, I apply the text snapper preset with a simple left click on the T button in my script interface. This will add an effect control on my layer, with all the properties ready to animate. I will expand the animation in values and reveal all the properties I can adjust. Text animators are really powerful, offering a huge variety of options. Again by default they are all set to do nothing and your design stays intact. Now with my timeline indicator near the end point of the layer I will adjust the animation in values. This way we can have a visual representation of the changes we make in real time. Let's add some values. Everything looks great, but we can push it a step further by opening the global controls. We have some extra options, such as speed, dynamics and delay. I will adjust the easing mode and add a little bit more delay between the letters animation to give more space. Another cool feature is that we can select the based on modes by simply expanding the script user interface. With the text layer selected, click on the based on button and adjust to your needs. In this example I want the start animation to be based on letters, and the end animation based on words. Let's continue with the animation out values. Since it is going to be based on words, I will make it simple and quick. Looks great. All we have to do now is to adjust the duration. I will simply drag the in and out points of the layer to fit the dynamics of the scene, and we are done. Let's move to the next layer and use the noob mode. With the switch that toggles between pro and noob animator modes, I will leave it to the mode I like. Select the shape layer and use the bouncer animator version with a simple right click on the M button. Bouncer animator offers the all time favorite overshoot and bounce effects added to your animation arsenal. Expand the animation values and reveal all the properties I can adjust. 
Notice that the new version presets have a simplified effect controls with same values for in and out animation, with the option to reverse. Now with my timeline indicator near the end point of the layer I will adjust the animation values. This way we can have a visual representation of the changes we make in real time. Everything looks great, but we can push it a step further. By opening the global controls on Bouncer Animator we have some extra options, such as speed, delay and bounce controls. I will add a little bit of speed and delay, to fit my scene needs. For the animation out, I don't have to do anything. In the noob mode the outro will happen automatically. Simply drag the in and out points of the layer to fit the duration of the scene, and we are ready. Last but not least, let's use the same mode for text, and animate the paragraph. First I select the layer, and apply the text bouncer animator with a simple right click on the T text button. Because I know I want to animate by lines, with the text layer selected, I will expand the script tools user interface, and set the based on mode, to lines, both for in, and for out. With my timeline indicator near the in point of the layer, all I have to do is to add my animation values and I am ready. This way we can have a visual representation of the changes we make, in real time. Let's keep it simple. For the animation out, I don't have to do anything. In the noob mode the outro will happen automatically. Simply drag the in and out points of the layer to fit the duration of the scene, and we are ready. This is your workflow with Easy Animator Pro. Another extremely useful feature, is the Transition Maker. It works with any resolution and aspect ratio. Everything happens with a single click, and one adjustment layer that will be applied exactly where your timeline indicator is. Now let's see how it works in a real scenario. Here I have some images in a sequence and I need some transitions in between. You can have videos, or any layer. Let's add one with the timeline indicator exactly to the point where you need to make the transition. Simply left click the transition button on the script interface, and you are ready to go. Optionally you have a huge variety of controls that you can adjust to fit your needs. In this case I want a simple zoom in effect, but the default is zoom out. No problem. I will click on the reverse checkbox and I am ready. Now I will move the timeline indicator to the next point where I want to add a transition, and this time I will apply a pre-made transition preset. So, to open the presets drop-down, simply right-click on the transition button and select the one you like. Once you select an option, an adjustment layer will be added to your timeline exactly where your timeline indicator is. Also your saved transitions will be visible here. Let's use the same type of transition, but this time I want to target zoom to a specific point. I will move the timeline indicator near the endpoint of the transition layer, and from the effect controls, adjust the zoom point. Let's go to the next image, and again add a preset transition. This time I will use a position preset. I think it is a bit too extreme for the dynamics of our scene, so from the effect controls panel I will fine adjust the easing mode, and maybe bring the position force a little bit down. For the last part, let's use once again a transition preset, and add our own adjustments to spice up the animation. From the effects control panel, I will add some zoom, and optics. Also let's adjust the zoom point to the door of the store, so we have a seamless transition. This is how you edit with Easy Animator Pro.